Welcome to another episode of the Jim Travel Series. So I've had this footage in my camera for a very long time. I apologize. This is at least a few months old. Uh, to be honest, it's probably still not quite as old as the bologna sandwich I found in the center console of my rental Elantra. Uh, <laughs> that shit was... <laughs> Let's just say Hertz got a call. But this gym is in New Orleans, and doesn't it just feel like Ronnie Coleman should be screaming lightweight and deadlifting 900 in the background? I mean, this is one of the most classic bodybuilding, no-frills gyms I've ever been to called Body Doctor Gym in New Orleans. And the door was open to the right of me. You'll see some footage. They actually had an outdoor area, which was pretty awesome. And, uh, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't cool in New Orleans. It was pretty warm um, when this footage was taken. I hate, I would so much rather be uh, working out in a warm environment than, like, the LA Fitness I work out at normally by me. It's like, 50 degrees in there and it's like by the time I, I leave I have fucking goosebumps and that's not just because I saw Sheila hip thrusting in the corner but look at how good some of these machines are I mean these are classics you won't find these at many gyms and in my opinion some of these new gym equipment companies are just doing too much like if I had a choice I would stick with some of these old school lat pull downs because they don't try to reinvent the wheel you know so you ha have a some of these machines, I don't really know the company's names too much, but like they just be doing too much. <laughs> like if I'm doing lat pull downs, I need to be doing lat pull downs. I don't need to be doing, I don't need my legs to be swinging in a crunch motion under me while I rock back and forth like a fucking crescent moon. I mean, what kind of cookie cutter stuff is that? Like, they only do that stuff in Delray Beach. And as you're going to see throughout this video, switching between a lot of different machines and that's not just for because of this gym or for video purposes this is exactly how I've been training for the last probably year year and a half um, a ton of volume like a shitload of volume just in there probably about an hour and a half and just moving moving very little rest times and just reps on reps on reps this doesn't matter if it's you know back day arm day leg day chest day the philosophy is the same and and i don't do i didn't start doing this uh i didn't start training this way because i thought it would be whoa look at that i'm like as black as lenny right now can you still say that these days? Well, and I don't know. But anyway, uh, yeah, and that's not because I thought that would be the best way for me, uh, you know, to grow or to get lean or for hypertrophy or whatever. But I just started, I really started to enjoy training that way because, um, you know, just getting moving, getting the sweat going, I just felt a little bit better leaving the gym when I train that way if that makes sense uh you know I'm not I'm not trying to combine cardio and lifting in that but when you train in that sort of high volume way I do notice you get some of that maybe more than endorphins start flowing and if I train this way and tried to you know keep the weight heavier and heavier each week, it, it wouldn't work. Uh, I'd be injured by now. So I think the way I can stay consistent with this style of training that I like and stay healthy at the same time and feel good is by keeping the weight low. So as you'll see through these videos, uh, I'll kind of do things like manipulate the tempo of the reps, hit it from different angles. Like Lil Wayne said, hit it from the front side, back side, upside down. For back day, you got to make sure you got to get your vertical pull movements in, your horizontal pull movements. Kind of here, I'm on a 45 degree angle on this T-bar row. Basically, just raw dog the shit out of each muscle group. And uh, that's how you do it. And hold on, after this clip is done, you're about to see the coolest part of this gym. Look at this. Look at this outdoor section we got going on. This is awesome. We got the brick wall. 
And I think in a future, in the next clip, you're going to see, uh, it looks like a damn yard sale of just sick bodybuilding gym equipment. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing here. I think I spotted someone a little thick over there. But, uh, or maybe my headphones just ran out. But anyway, as I'm sitting here doing this voiceover, Monday, December 19th, uh, I'm actually, I wanted to get this out because I'm going to be traveling again around Christmas, right on Christmas Day, going down to North Carolina uh, to visit some family for a few days, and then was thinking about maybe making a little bit of a longer trip out of that and uh, going somewhere else after that. So I uh, wanted to get this footage out before maybe doing another installment of the BBW Travel Gym Series, which I don't know how it started. And I never really thought of myself as a traveler, but here we are. <laughs> and uh, hope you guys are doing well, having a good Hanukkah, Christmas, Kwanzaa, whatever the hell you are celebrating right now and uh yeah drop a comment if you have any ideas um or and i will be bringing the thick life to a city new near you maybe so until next time good to talk to you guys